Hello, this is Darren Pearson, uh, and today I'm going to show you a short little tutorial in using Sculptress uh, with Blender. Uh, Sculptress is a open source free tool that can be downloaded at pixelogic.com slash Sculptress right here. You can do a, either do a quick Google search with search for it and should be able to find it. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is uh, Blender is a fantastic tool, um, but unfortunately I found that uh, working with UV mapping can be a little bit difficult uh, and time consuming. And I found um, for myself that Sculptress is often the easy way, easier way to do this. Uh, and basically it's going to be kind of a three-part process. I'm going to cr initially create my mesh in Blender. Um, then I'm going to export it as an OBG file, bring that into Sculptress, uh, apply my paint there and uh, paint it and then export from there and bring it back into Blender and apply the uh, the new map. So let me demonstrate the details for that. I'm going to start off like I said in Blender using Blender 2.63 for this tutorial and I have my default scene with uh, my lamp, my cube, and my camera. I'm going to delete, uh, not delete, I'm going to tab into edit mode on the default cube and I'm just uh, going to do a face select and using a couple extrudes I'm just going to quickly create a very primitive kind of 3D sort of stick man model um, and if I wanted to spend more time and make this really nice I'd turn on the mirror modifier and do stuff like that but um, that's kind of not the not the point of uh, this tutorial so let me just quickly extrude this fella up Extrude a little bit more. I'll do this, bring it up, and scale it in a little bit for his neck. Extrude, extrude one more time, scale it out, extrude, extrude, and scale it in. So there we got his, you know, humanoid type figure. I suppose uh, arms would be a good idea. I'm just grabbing face selects, and again, this is very, very basic. I'm showing the procedure, not, not trying to show off my modeling skills here. I want to get that done very quickly. Okay, so there I have a very, very basic, basic humanoid type figure. Uh, I'm going to tab out of edit mode, and I'm back into object mode. We can see what he looks like. Um, and I'm going to first say file save as, and I always like to save stuff to the desktop, and I'm just going to call him. Uh, man part one dot blend I just always I'm always in the habit of saving my blender projects even though you don't technically need it for this procedure uh, and this is the important part I'm going to say file export and I'm going to go down here and choose the waveform uh, option which will generate a dot obj uh, obj file so it's file export wavefront obj and again I'm going to call it man part one dot obj and I'm saving all my stuff to the desktop so then I just click export obj and life is good at this point I can say file quit and quit out of blender now we can see the obj file sitting there on the desktop um, I'm now going to start up Sculptress which again I showed you where to download that and when we start Sculptress we have this default um, sphere here. Now Sculptress is often used to uh, generate kind of organic type models, faces and uh, bodies of creatures and it's a lot like working with clay. There's a lot of good tutorials out on YouTube on how to use Sculptress. Um, you can go check those out. I'm just going to show, uh, get to the, the painting part here. Um, so I'm going to say import or control shift E um, and to import my obj file so I look for it it's right there on the desktop man part one dot obj open and I get this option I'm going to say new scene if I choose add object it's going to put this on top of that sphere that's in there already which I don't want to do so I'm just going to say new scene and there's my there's my little humanoid man um, at this point if I wanted to I could use all the various inflate, flatten, draw, pinch, smooth, crease, all these different tools to really uh, detail this guy but uh, I'm going to skip that right now. Um, I'm going to just jump to paint. Now with Sculptress it's a two-part process. You first sculpt and when your mesh model is all done and looks exactly how you want it then you go to paint. You can't, once you go to paint you can't go back. Um, it's uh, you know you have to you have to kind of start all over again so I'm just gonna say paint and it says okay to build the map I'm gonna say okay just go with the defaults and it takes a second here 
and then I see uh, my model here, and it kind of has that uh, light gray, dark gray checkerboard pattern to him. Pattern to him. Now, what I'm going to do is the you can play around a lot with this, but the big things are your color choosers right there, and then your uh, the size and strength of your brush. So I'm going to click on, I'll choose red, and say OK for my color. And right now the size is pretty small. So if I draw on him, you can see my that's the size of my brush. If I increase my brush size, now we can see my brush is really, really big. I probably want it somewhere in the middle, something like that. And I can go around and paint this guy. Now I'm going to change this you can you can paint over as many times as you want to I'm gonna I'm gonna go with green and I'm first gonna do the entire thing as green I've got a huge brush size here and you have to remember that this is a 3d model so we have to look at them from the front and the back and it uh, looks like I didn't get the soles of his feet there we go so using the big brush gets all of it and then I'm gonna bring the size down and uh, I'm going to Give him some some blue eyes. Looks like, yeah, there we go, something like that. Let me one eye, two eye, brief nose, and we'll make him smile there. Uh, and let's see, let's add a different color. I'll go with black. Um, he's green, so I suppose let's make him a green lantern. Do do do. There we go. And just to uh, just to see kind of the other parts of his body, again, I know this is this is pretty primitive, but I'm going quickly. Uh, I'll give him some red shoes, something like this. Do do. do. do it on both feet here. Entire bottoms making sure that I, I just want to paint the bottom of his feet. I don't want to bleed over and get someplace else. So again, using this tool takes a takes a little bit of practice, but it's it's uh, it's fairly intuitive, especially if you've been using Blender and your or other 3D imaging tools. So let's get this all set up. Okay, it's looking good. Uh, again, I could spend more time on him, but I'm I'm not going to. Uh, at this point, I need to do two things. I'm first going to go over and export the OBJ model. Export, and I'm going to call him uh, Man Part Two, uh, and it should be identical to the to the first OBJ that I have. If I didn't do anything in that first step of modifying the mesh, but just in case I did, uh, I'm going to do do this. Oops. Dot OBJ and save. And then the important part here is I need to toggle where it says show advanced tools and now I can see about six buttons come up. I'm going to do save text map and I'm going to call it the same thing man dash part two dot and this is a PNG, a portable networks graphics file uh, which is like a JPEG but it has a few more options uh, and I'm going to choose save and that pops up on the desktop. At this point I can quit out of Sculptress. If I want to save anything, that's fine. Uh, and we can see here's the new OBJ file and here's the new PNG file. If I open up the PNG file with Preview, we can see what it looks like and it's it's all these different parts of the mesh that are torn apart and I can see, you know, right there is his, the center part of his chest and there's his face and the red parts are, you know, or I painted red on his on his feet right there. Um, if I wanted to, I'm not going to do it in this tutorial, but if I wanted to, I could open up this PNG file with a tool like either GIMP or Photoshop or something like that. And if instead of just having this dumb little blue smiley face on him, uh, I could just as easily grab a, a photo of myself or somebody else and uh, scale it down and rotate it and map it and put it on there. Um, and uh, we get kind of more realistic textures on here, but, uh, but that's okay. Um, not going to do that, but I'll let uh, let people explore that. Um, I'll close preview out here, and I'm starting up Blender again. As I said, I could use that original OBJ file and just do the mapping, but I like to, to do this just in case I decided to modify the parts of the mesh with Sculptress. Um, here's my original scene. I got my lamp, I got my camera, and my cube mesh. I'm going to delete my cube mesh 
and then bring in my new mesh. So that is a file import operation. Again, in the first part we did file export. We're now going to import a wavefront or OBJ mesh. So I'll say that. Uh, it'll ask me where to look. I'm doing man part 2.obj. I'll import him in. There he is, big and tall. You can see what he looks like. I'm going to go to Control alt q now to get my four panel view and I can see this is what the camera sees. It's aiming at his feet right now. So if I want to get a good render I'm going to have to uh, adjust my camera. So let me bring it up and uh, over a tad. Let me see up just a little bit more. There we can kind of see his... Uh, maybe I'll pull back a little bit more. There we go. Up just a tad there. Now I'll be able to see his face as well as uh, whatever I put there on his chest logo. Um, uh, I'm going to grab the light here, the lamp, and put it in front of him and above his head a little bit right there. So when I render it now I should be able to see what I what I did there but I still need to apply the map. So in order to do that um, I'll just go back here. I need to select the mesh and then over in the properties editor, this is the properties editor right here, I'm going to go over to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth icon called textures and click on that. I'm going to select new um, and it's going to apply a texture on here. I'm going to choose image or movie. By default clouds is the one that comes up for me. I'm going to change that to image or movie and I'm going to go down here under the images submenu and say open and I'll go to my desktop and find here's the PNG that I uh, exported from Sculptress. I'll say open image and we can kind of see the preview of it there and this is the tricky part we need to go down under the mapping section so we need to tell it how to apply this image onto there. So under coordinates, instead of generated, I'm going to go up and change this to UV coordinates. And then under map, I just see this uh, you know, uh, sphere image right there. I'm going to click on it and UV map is my only option. I'm going to choose UV map there. So at this point, uh, I'm pretty much done. It's mapped. It won't show up though until I render it. So let's do that real quick. I'm just going to go and say render, render image, or I could have just hit F12. And in my UV editor, I can see the outline of my guy there. Um, looks like, looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go in and uh, duplicate uh, my light source and just give him a second one here. Let's see, let's bring that light source over here. We'll bring him up and over just to put two lights on him, something like that. And let's render again just so we can see it a little clearer. Okay, that looks a lot better. So we can see, again, real quick and dirty way to do this, but we can see his logo there. Um, and uh, again, we've used uh, Sculptress with this, which is a lot easier uh, for me personally uh, than using the UV image editing tools. So uh, if you have any questions, please send me an email and I uh, hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you very much and have a good day.